Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to divide a circle into five equal parts. So if you have a circle like this, so let me just do a freehand sketch of what you are going to be doing in this video. So if you have a circle, so irrespective of the diameter of the circle or the radius of the circle, the principle is still the same thing. And you are asked to divide into five equal parts. So you are going to be having something like this. So this is a freehand sketch. It's not going to be equal, but just so you are going to be having one, two, three, four, five. So that's what we are going to be doing in this video. So before we get into this video proper, if you are new to PE Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button. Uh, so the subscribe button is at the lower right of your screen. So either you are watching on your mobile or your uh, desktop, you'll find it there. So please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. And if you have subscribed, do let me know in the comment section below. Just say something like I've subscribed and I'm going to uh, reply you. Alright, so let's... I don't really need to take um, the radius of our circle or the length of our, the diameter of our circle. So, like I said, irrespective of the radius or the diameter of the circle, it's still the same thing. So, let me just draw a circle. Alright, so here I already have my circle. So, it's important to also note the center of your circle so don't forget you have to divide this into five equal parts so divide into five equal parts so now this is the center of this circle so let me call this point O. so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw out the radius so don't forget the radius is a line from the circumference of the circle to the center of the circle so depending on the size of the radius so you can decide to extend it, especially if you are working with a smaller circle, you can extend it out with a faint line. So that when we bring in our, our protractor, so you can easily place it well on our protractor. So you bring in your protractor and place it at the center. So what you are going to do, since you are dividing it into five, so this is it. You are, don't forget the total angle in a circle is 360 degrees. So we are going to be having 360 degrees divided by 5. That will give us 72 degrees. So that means each of these angles, the one I'm having here, this freehand sketch here, is going to be all these angles are going to be at 72 degrees. So now that I've bring in my protractor, I'm going to measure 72 degrees. Look, I'm measuring it in clockwise direction from where I have my radius in clockwise direction. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So this will be 71 and then this is 72. So that is 72. So um, before I remove it, another 72 from where we mark this one, that will be 144. So you can go ahead and mark it. This will be 144. So let's still join those uh, two points to the center of the circle. So this is it. So now we have this one, two parts. So the next thing is, we are still going to bring back our protractor. So the reason why I stopped here is that if you had to add another um, 72, you can see it will be beyond 180 degrees. So once it's in deep position, just turn it like this. And then you make sure your protractor is properly set. This center here, this point here, depending on your um, protractor, so make sure that this center here is on this point O. That is the center of the circle. The center of this protractor is on the center of the circle. So once that is properly placed, so make sure it is properly placed, placed to avoid any error. So you are going to measure again in anti-clockwise direction now, another 72 degrees. So in this direction, like this, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, then 72, this is 72 here. Then the next one plus under 72, that is 144. So if you should continue in this direction, in anti-clockwise direction, so this is 140. This is 140, this is 150. So 144 is here, yeah, this is 144. So now let's join those points to uh, point O. Now 
Then we join this. So now with this, you see now we've been able to divide this circle into five equal parts. So this is one, two, three, four, five. And all these angles are at 72 degrees. 72 degrees. Here is 72. Everything is 72 degrees. So this is how you go about to divide a circle into five equal parts. So if you also want to know how, how to divide a circle into other equal number of parts, maybe into five, I mean to six, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, kindly check the description of this video. I will leave a link to uh, to those videos. And if you and if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also let me know in the comments if you have any question with regards to this video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.